Hello, everyone. Welcome to our second episode of Blue Jay Rewind. I am your host, Casey McGarvey, and joining me on today's episode is 2020 graduate Sam Gerstenbacher of the Men's Cross Country and Track and Field programs. Between the three seasons, Gerstenbacher is a two-time All-American and a 16-time, let that sink in, everybody, a 16-time Landmark Conference champion. Sam, thanks for jumping on with me. Yeah, thank you for having me. For those tuning in for the first time, the Blue Jays Rewind series will look back on a number of recent athletic accomplishments while catching up with our student athletes and recent grads. Last fall, Sam added his name to the E-Town record books, becoming the eighth All-American in cross-country history. Always hard to have video footage of cross-country, of course, but we were able to capture a great moment of you on the podium. Uh, let me pull up that picture for you. Yeah. And here it is. Initial thoughts when you see yourself standing up on the podium with that medal around your neck. Yeah, I think the first thing that comes to mind is kind of, I mean, that it was the pinnacle of my, you know, collegiate athletic career um, and all the feelings that come with an experience like that. Um, you know, all the hard work that you put in to achieve certain goals in your life, whether that be athletic or not, um, when you finally achieve it, it just feels incredibly fulfilling. And kind of like a peacefulness washes over you. I remember um, the team when they were watching the live stream, there's a, a video that circulated that they all joked about. When I crossed the line, I threw my head back and just, you could see I let out this big sigh. Um, and it wasn't exha exhaustion, it was, you know, relief uh, emotionally. So yeah, it was a phenomenal experience. Uh, speaking of that experience, you were able to go to nationals the year before. Uh, I would say that race didn't work out the way you had planned or wanted to. And, yeah. you know, you fought back. You were able to return for your senior year and have a race that you planned, a race that um, you wanted to unfold the way it did. Talk about that redemption a little bit. Yeah, of course. Um, <clears throat> yeah, as you said, like being their junior year and being, you know, making a tactical mistake early on and getting caught in a big pileup of runners uh, on a muddy course, it, you know, it definitely – through me mentally and coming back senior year was definitely there was that fear almost in the back of my mind of making sure that doesn't happen again um but my coaches and I uh, my teammates and I we all knew that you know that was the key um so once you know once you identify the problem and you have the privilege of having another opportunity you just have to make sure you don't make that one mistake again and I didn't and I was fortunate enough to come out with my end goal Dustin Scott, Steve Sanko, Jose Miranda, Eric Riker, and Zach Trauma. That's quite a list of All-Americans for the men's cross-country program. What does it mean to you to add your name to that list? Uh, it's phenomenal. It's, I think that alone, um, when you think of it that way, I think that's when I feel the most pride because those guys are all phenomenal people. They were great students. They were great athletes, obviously. Um, and I know quite a few of them personally, and they're phenomenal men now. So it's definitely a, a prideful thing uh, to be amongst those, those guys. You've had a very unique opportunity as a student athlete to compete all three seasons, cross country, indoor track, and outdoor track. Um, that gives you lots of time with your teammates, lots of time with your coaches. Um, how did they help mold you? You know, you were speaking about becoming a man. How did they help mold you and the man you've become over these past four years at E-Town? Yeah, I think tremendously is the short answer. Um, yeah, when you're around people, uh, especially good people like I was uh, on the team at E-Town, it's, it's hard not to be influenced in such a great way by those people. And especially on our team, it's a very caring environment, caring group of people. And we all want to see each other get better and, you know, kind of have a vested interest in each other. So I think it was, it was inevitable once I made that decision to come to E-Town that, you know, I was always going to leave being a, a more critical thinker, somebody who had, you know, just a deeper understanding of himself and, and other people. Uh, graduated last spring. What have you been doing for work since then? Uh, I work as a vendor analyst over at uh, the Clark Associates. So based here in Lancaster County, um, I moved from South Jersey. I'm living in Lancaster City. So, yeah, it's, it's a change, but it's been enjoyable so far. I'm very thankful, very happy. And how did E-Town College as a whole help you prepare for this position you have, the move from Jersey to Lancaster, uh, yeah. just everything post-college? Yeah, I think uh, definitely a lot. 
um, my experience at E-Town, when I look back at where I was personally when I came in uh, as a freshman versus how I was as I left, uh, it's a good, I was a different person um, in a good way. Uh, the growth I showed within myself and even the people that I grew close to, my teammates and my good friends from E-Town now, everyone I knew, we all have the same experience that we showed tremendous, tremendous growth in our time there. And I think that's, I don't think that's unique to us. I think that's something that's unique to E-Town. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm very thankful for my time there. Sam, thank you so much for jumping on with us. I will always remember your All-American performance because that was my first fall on campus and you were for my first All-American working in the sports information department. So thanks again for jumping on. Good luck with everything and uh, have a happy new year. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time.